Is it really possible to wash away your sins with a cold shower? Well, first and foremost, let's just get clear on what even sin is. What does sinning mean to you? Because words don't have any other meaning than the one that we ourselves give to them. And when I was in my teenage years, I used to think that to sin means to do something to upset some higher power that once upset would pull put me into the deep depths of fire inside hell because I did something wrong to disappoint the higher power. Okay, but as I have matured and elevated my understanding and getting to, you know, the research of what this word actually means. So it was translated from Hebrew. I think the word is hatha or something like that. But the Hebrew word for sin, where it was actually translated from, is actually a term from archery, which literally means to miss the mark, right? So to sin, what if it means to miss the mark, right? When an archer misses the mark, so to sin may mean to miss the mark of human existence and therefore to cause suffering to yourself and to cause unnecessary suffering to others as well. So in my experience, it's like, what if sin is really the things that we do that make us feel bad, that make us miss our own expectations? And really, it's like when I say I'm going to do something and I don't do that thing, I feel bad inside, right? If I say that I'm not going to smoke weed anymore and I smoke weed, it kind of eats away at me sometimes. Now, what does this all have to do with cold showers? So try this out, man. Like if you do something that you said you were not going to do, or if you don't do something that you said you were going to do, you know, I've made video about this in the past, like shifting from that paradigm of shaming and blaming and guilting yourself into the paradigm of game, right? Understanding it's all just one big game. So how can I optimize my performance moving forward? How can I optimize my behaviors moving forward? How can I optimize my activities moving forward? My thoughts, my experience moving forward, right? What if this is all data that we can use to optimize ourselves? So next time that you fall short of your expectations, or you do something that you said you were not going to do, try taking a cold shower, okay? Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it's not easy. Yes, it takes courage. Yes, it's going to be even harder in in the winter days when your house is cold. But in my experience, there's never been a time where I felt worse after a cold shower. Okay. If I, for example, wake up one morning and I binged on a lot of sugar one night and I told myself I was not going to do it and I feel kind of cloudy and, you know, some brain fog going on and some shame going on. If I go into a cold shower, then my thoughts are not anywhere other than in that moment. I do not have anxiety about the future. I do not have depression about the past. I am in the precious present moment. And there has never been a time where I took a cold shower and I felt worse afterwards, right? There has never been a time. It's always been that when I took the cold shower, I felt like that's like me. I felt like I can act in the face of fear. I felt like it's okay if I mess up. I just have to do better next time. And always there is this surge of energy within my body that really allows me to focus on what is most important right now, right? Let's say something happened. It wasn't according to my expectations. It wasn't according to the commitment that I made to myself. Okay, cool, whatever. What can we do right now? right? What can I bring my attention and energy to right here, right now, that will help move me towards where I say I want to be in the future, right? Because the past is the past. The only value that it has for me is to learn from it, right? The future is within my control rather than being anxious about it, rather than using the negative and toxic emotions from the past, I can actually use them to emphasize the future, right? What can I actually use? from the past to extract the wisdom from the past and all, use that to implement into my decisions right now so that I can optimize moving forward. And cold showers are really a bridge that align me to this level of thinking, right? Because it's like, it's hard to think your way out of thinking negatively, right? So if I'm caught in that loop, the way to break that loop is through physiologically shocking myself through the cold shower, which has so many benefits that I've created videos on as well, like physiological benefits. But if we do 
experience that downward spiral and we get ourselves to go into a cold shower, you will instantly be brought to the present moment. You will forget about what you did in the past and you will actually use that information to optimize your behaviors moving forward. And in that sense, you can optimize how you feel about yourself as well, right? To sin is to miss the mark. And it's okay if you miss the mark, as long as you learn from that missing off the mark and you objectively assess your behaviors moving forward after the fact as well. Okay, so just a thought that I was having sitting over here. I hope that it's valuable for you. And yeah, it's hard to take cold showers, but do it anyway, because the hard choices right now can create an easy life later. But if you take the easy choices now, it can create a hard life later, right? So the choice is always yours. So leave a comment below letting me know if you have been taking cold showers. If not, why not? Let's open up that discussion. Subscribe if you have not already. But I will see you in the next one.